one of my many problems, I analyse too much. Or maybe not enough. <laughs> I always get in trouble at school. I would overanalyse. You know, we had that teacher that would always construct this ludicrous premise to try and engage a bored kids. And that was, if we got enough typewriters and enough monkeys, eventually one of them would type a line of Shakespeare. And I would say, well, if it was a golden lion tamarind, a tiny, delicate little monkey, its paws would be too small to press down the keys. But a large mountain gorilla would be too large and it would just write gibberish. And anyway, if it could use a typewriter, surely it would write in a more modern idiom. <laughs> what do you mean, detention? Uh, I, I never really got on in uh, the physics. You know, we, we had a, a physics teacher who was a, an uncontrolled ball of fury. He was an ex-RAF pilot, red face, electric hair, <laughs> trying to, desperately trying to engage bored kids again in physics. And, and I was trying to help out. And sometimes he trying to help, but it backfires horribly. And I thought I was making an interesting noise when he said uh, the half-life of radon-14 is eight trillion years. I thought I went, mmm, like that. But it came out as, <laughs> That pales into insignificance with the experiment that's happening right now in Switzerland, deep below the Swiss countryside, outside Geneva, the centre for European nuclear research, where they have built the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, which is sitting there, squatting deep below the countryside, the cows graze above it, oblivious, the, the reticulated nougat wasp flits from Fanta to picnic. And down there, this vast thing awaits, a 16-mile tunnel in circumference. And this, this thing is going to fire particles around it, down two tubes in opposite directions. And at four points, the tubes cross, and the particles will smash into each other and hopefully fuse. And the debris will create the so-called Higgs boson, the god particle, the very essence of all life itself, the remnants of the Big Bang Theory. Now, the thing is, <laughs> the spectrum for success for this experiment ranges from nothing will happen when they switch it on to a, a black hole will be created under Switzerland. <laughs> that is quite a large margin of error. <laughs> nothing. Switch it on, switch it on again, switch it off and on again. To apocalypse. Everything. Shoot. All the Toblerone. Shoot. And what I think will happen, if, if it doesn't work, scientists will just get bored. They'll just have this massive thing there, and what are they going to do? They, these, they, the particles are fired at just under the speed of light. What are they going to do? They'll just get bored, won't they? they go, oh, just put a Malteser in it. <laughs> send a Malteser around, go on, bam! What are we going to send the other way? Satsuma, bam! <laughs> we'll create a Satsiser. An orange with a crisp honeycomb centre. Mm. Oh. A walnut whip and a cockroach. We'll get a fondant-based snack that'll survive a nuclear blast. I feel sorry for harp players because they're always inducing in themselves a sense of nostalgia. Is this now or the past? <laughs> 